Hello and welcome to Let's Play Skyrim Episode 1. Um, I have gone ahead and um, sat through the opening of you sitting in the car coming into Fort Helgen. Um, basically as a sort of TLDW I guess, too long didn't watch, or a uh, um, sort of a recap. We have essentially been captured or we're a prisoner for a sort of undisclosed reason. We're on a car, we're brought into Fort Helgen. Uh, the Imperials are here. You, uh, you're about to get executed, um, you're getting off the car and they essentially ask you where you're from, which uh, opens the, um, the sort of character menu here. Uh, as you can see, these are all the races we can pick from, we're all familiar with the Elder Scrolls, we all know the races, etc. But if you don't, I'll just do a quick run through. You've got the Argonians. Pause any time if you want to read these little um, descriptions of them. we got the Bretons. We got the Dark Elves, or the Dunmer, the High Elves, also known as Altmer, Imperials, the Khajiits, the Nords, obviously the uh, natives of Skyrim, Orcs, Red Guards, and the Wood Elf, also known as Bosma. So I'm kind of torn between what kind of a character I want to play as. I don't know if I want to play as a sort of Dark Elf Nightblade, um, sort of sneaking around, um, light armored, using a lot of sort of deception skills and magic and stuff like that. Um, but to be honest, I haven't really played Skyrim that much, not compared to how the, like the amount I have played Oblivion and Morrowind. And I know there's like the magic in this compared to the those two games there's not a lot so I'm not sure if that actually would work out as sort of a viable class maybe using like potions and things maybe or I was thinking of going as a uh, d d d as a Nord Paladin or Cleric sort of heavy armoured um, sword and shield or mace and shield using a lot of healing magic but I'm not sure if I want to use a battle mage either which is kind of the same thing, just a heavy armored mage. Um, you see, I kind of don't want to use a Nord because I've used a Nord plenty of times, considering they are the citizens of Skyrim. Uh, do we go Dark Health then? Hmm. So this is kind of like, do we want to go a sort of like a goody goody with the Nord kind of paladin, or do we want to go as sort of a more deceptive kind of sneaky? Um, yeah, let's go with the Dark Elf, I think. Yeah, I think we should. In fact, no, because I'm. If I go with the Dark Elf, I know I'm going to fall into the whole sneaky archer build, and I kind of want to stray away from that because it's kind of o OP. So we'll go with the Nord. We're going to go with a uh, a um, uh, yeah, like a Paladin style. Uh, wait. We ain't humongous. We'll go yeah, that's kind of good. Um, head We'll leave complexion as it is, we'll leave dirt. Right, scars. Let's give him some like a face scar. That's cool. Does he want some war paint? I don't think he'd have a war paint considering he's like a paladin. Um No, we'll leave the war paint. We'll go with the scar. Okay. Uh, do we want to mess with any of this? This takes kind of a while. I guess we'll kind of go as a generic looking Nord. We'll just change his eye color and stuff. Um, I guess we'll go with the blue eyes. Um, tint, eye tint. That's under the eyes. No, we don't want any of that. Uh, don't want any eyeshadow. We kind of want him to look as sort of um, 
as pure as possible if you're playing as kind of like a cleric. That doesn't mean that we can't change what we're going to do with him. Doesn't mean that we can't make him, um, you know, wander from the path of being a cleric. Hair. Do we want to play as an older kind of Nord, maybe? So we go for like a lighter coloured hair, sort of like a grey. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Then facial hair, I think he should have a beard. So he looks wise. Maybe not that big. That one? Should we go with that? It's a cool beard. Hmm. Do we change the colour though? Or should we go? Should we go blonde? Or should we go? Uh... There we go, I kinda like that. That looks good. Let's use him. That looks pretty good. So we've got our scars, we've got our beard, we've got our hair. Do we change the hair though? Do we have it longer? Tied up maybe? Uh, hmm. That's cool, I like that one. That's kinda... I feel as they wouldn't have it in his face, so I think that's kinda cool. Right, let's go ahead and name. Let's call him Aedric Battle. Mm. Yarn Star. Aedric Yarnstall. Oh, that's a cool name. That'll be our name, Aedric Yarnstall. <clears throat> I think that's a cool name for a paladin, you cleric. A bad time to come home to hmm, I'm sure it did. What should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By all those captain. I'm sorry. I yeah, don't worry about it, you know. I'm totally innocent and you're just gonna go and chop off my head. Here he is, the big man himself, General Tullius. Now this is quite a, um, I'm not sure who we'd actually side with at this point. Would we go with the Stonecloaks for Skyrim, sort of the Rebellion, or would we go with the Empire? Yeah, we'll see how well that goes. This is the um, special edition of the game, by the way. I also can't believe this game came out yes, six Tullius. years ago. Give them their last that just blows my mind. We commend your souls to Aetherius. Blessings of the eight divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. As you wish. Well, coming up six years, I guess. Come on, I haven't got all morning. My answer. It's a very pretty game though, even after six years. I mean, I know this has got like, updated high resolution textures and things in the special edition, but it just still looks like a phenomenal game. As fearless in death as he was in life. The Nord in the Rags. I guess that's me, boys. Did you hear that? I said next prisoner. To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. Not even gonna move his body? No? Gonna let me kneel in this? Okay, cool. Like, I'm sorry, but you wouldn't look. I, I wouldn't personally look at the executioner if this was gonna happen. Here he is, Alduin. But we don't know that at this point. Oh, we're not supposed to.
Can we move now? Excellent. Let's just go. Then we need to um, avoid this bit. Yeah. See, I pretty much remember this bit off by heart. Even though I haven't played this game anywhere near as much as I have uh, Morrowind and Oblivion. And this jump here always seemed ridiculous to me. Like, that was a massive jump. <clears throat> and here he comes again. Now I have a choice coming up whether we want to escape with the Imperials or escape with the Stormcloaks, which essentially kind of chooses who you're going to be fighting against. I think Eadric being a true Nord would side with the um, Stormcloaks. I mean, we can always change our decision later on. It doesn't really matter at this point what I meant by, like, if we go, so, for example, if we now go with uh, the Stormcloaks, we'll just be fighting uh, the Imperials in the tutorial area, and if we go with the Imperials, we'll essentially be fighting Stormcloaks, and then in the tutorial area. It doesn't actually affect the later game. You get to choose who you want to side with later on in the Civil War, I guess. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, before we move on, um, kind of a uh, little bit of a story about um, Skyrim. Um, I remember it, well, it came out on 11-11-11 uh, in 2011, so this game's coming up to six years old now. Um, I wish this guy would shut up so I can finish my story. Yes, we, we'd better get moving. Okay. Anyway, so, um, so yeah, we, when it came out in, uh, I'm gonna do this so he shuts up. Um, so yeah, when it came out in 2011, um, I was in college at the time, I think I just, I was like 18, and, um, we used to. I was. I was on console. I had the 360, and then I was also on PC. And I was kind of torn between which I should um, pre-order for. Uh, and I really wanted to pre-order it anyway because you got the what was supposed to have been a cloth map, which didn't turn out to be cloth. It was like a weird kind of texture, which kind of disappointed. Um, so anyway, uh, I eventually pre-ordered it for the Xbox 360 um, through fear that I didn't think it'd run on my PC at the time. <clears throat> Even though thinking back, it definitely would have it did because I did end up buying it on there anyway. But yeah, so um, where we used to get them from uh, was this place called Castle Games uh, in, in a place called Chesterfield here in England. Uh, it doesn't exist net now, so I'm not really too bothered about this uh, telling this story. But um, what they do is they when they got the games in, like say if you pre-ordered and it came in like two days early, three days early, they'd actually let you have it two or three days early. Um, which I know you're not really supposed to do, but like the guys were cool and stuff. And uh, I remember the, that that like the week before it was due to release, uh, there was like, oh, there's a chance we can get it in two or three days early. And I was like, I was like so excited. So literally every day I was like, have you got Skyrim in yet? Have you got Skyrim in yet? Um, unfortunately, they uh, they got them in on the tenth, uh, the like the afternoon, and then they wasn't. They, they didn't sell them until the morning of the 11th but to make up for that they opened up early they opened at like 6 in the morning and I remember me and my friends was off college that day so uh, we jumped on a bus to get to Chesterfield which is like an hour bus ride anyway so we was up we was on the earliest bus which I think was like 10 past 5 or whatever so we got into the actual like town town centre for like just past six so we went and we queued and there wasn't that many people there actually and there was like 10 people in this queue waiting for them to open because they were opening a little bit later than six and um we, we were we were in the queue and we all queued and we'd all pre-ordered so we got the game and you know everybody's like dead excited so me and my friends rushed back off for the next bus back so as you can imagine the next hour on that bus was like the longest time to wait because you just want to get home and play Skyrim, like you've been waiting for this game for like ages. So we eventually, um, we eventually got back uh, into the village like an hour later, and I went home and I went to try my door at my parents' house back when I was living with my parents, and the door was locked, the door was shut. 
So I'm rummaging through my pockets, haven't got my keys, rummaging through my bag, not got my keys. And uh, my mum at the time was working, uh, I think she was only doing a few hours in the morning. She was doing like half seven till half ten, just like uh, cleaning at, at like our local school. And um, uh, so she wasn't in and I didn't have my keys and I went down to the school to try and like get hold of her so I could get the keys and no one was like answering because like obviously the kids weren't at school yet no one was like answering any of the doors or anything so I was like oh god what do I do so I went, I went to my uh, grandma's and waited for my mum to come in and I tell you those like three hours were the longest three hours of my life I just kind of sat there I read through the manual or what 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 little of a manual there was. I read over the box, I looked and studied the map. In those three hours I practically remembered like the map, like it was just burned into my memory. And like that just always stands out to me as the time that you're so excited about a game that you actually forget your house keys. Yeah, it's just like but I can't believe that's almost six years ago. It's just it seems insane to me. Anyway, let's go get our uh, hands untied. Um Untie me so I can access my inventory. May as well take gun your skier. He won't be needed. Gun ya. Alright, let's take his everything he's got. Uh we'll equip them. Uh right, I want some magic as well. So we're gonna primarily be using restoration magic, so we wanna get that and we wanna start using that. <clears throat> the mouse seems really weird on this. Let's see if I can edit the uh, settings on it. Uh, look, sensitivity needs to be up a bit. Uh, yep, yep. No way to open this from outside. Yeah, that's better. Come on. I think they're they've got better armor. <laughs> cool. Right. Let's have a look at the damage on this axe. Nine. Nine. Well, she's gonna have the key. See, the Imperial armor's heavy armor. But I don't wanna be like looking like an Imperial. I will take the Imperial sword though. Hmm. But I don't wanna be wearing light armor. Uh we'll do it. We'll do it. It's gonna look totally stupid and I don't really want to do this, but it's gonna get my my armor skill up. If I remember if that's how it works in this, I'm pretty sure it works the more you use it the higher it goes. Right? Or does it work strictly off points? No, it worked, yeah, okay, so you level it up and then corresponding to your level, yeah, okay, I remember. It's that confusing between all the games because they all just, like, worked differently. Not totally differently, but slightly different. So, right. I don't need any of that stuff. Normally, if I was playing as like an alchemist or whatever, I'd grab that stuff. But I mean, I guess I could grab it inside, but I'm not really, really too bothered at this point. And Alduin is on our back again. Right. Oh yes, I will. It would be mouse two to block if I did not got. <clears throat> yes, okay. See, I'm not sure if I prefer the fact that this is more of a classless game and you kind of develop your own class. That was kind of part of the fun of the other games. Sort of making your class and sort of having to stick to it, I guess. No. 
Um, so I'm not really too sure how I feel about. I mean, it's not like the worst way of handling classes, but eh. I kind of feel as though people just tend to fall into the whole stealthy archer build, which, is, like I mentioned earlier, is quite overpowered in this game. Um, so that's kind of why I'm trying to break away from that and do something a little better. Right, we're going to take his hood. We're going to go... Hell yeah. We're going to go for the sort of heavy armor, but wearing a hood. I think... I think... So the torturous hood, I believe there's not many of them in the game, so I'll grab it anyway. But I believe that one in there... On this guy, which you have to pick lock for some reason, um, adds magicka. Uh, yeah, 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 we probably will. So we're gonna grab this, we're gonna grab the mace, and then we're gonna equip them. Um, I'm going to favourite this because we're going to constantly be switching between that. We're going to equip the mace, we'll favourite it as well. We'll go ahead and we'll favourite our magic. So when we're switching between shields and stuff. So I think it's Q, isn't it? Yeah, okay, cool. So let's bust this lock open and get this. Um... This hood off this guy and whatnot. Uh, we'll learn that, but I doubt we'll use it. Yeah, increases your magic by 30 points, which... And rem magic magicka regens 50% faster. I remember the last time I played as a mage, I used those. I was, like, strictly using robes and things. Um, well, I was, like, using the robes, but I was using, like, uh, heavy armor gauntlets, or, like, yeah, gauntlets and um, boots. And I used them for so long because they're actually pretty decent especially this early on in the game. So we'll go ahead and we'll use the Novice Hood. I mean, I know it takes our armor eating down by 19, but for the extra 30 points of Magicka, it's kind of, you know, kind of okay with that. And we look like a cleric. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll put the Iron Shield on for now. <clears throat> uh, would a cleric loot these bodies? I don't really know. Alright, now we have some archer guys coming up, if I remember. Or is it the bear first? I can't remember if it's the bear or the archers first. Orders are to wait until General Tully no, it's the archers. I'm not waiting to be killed by a dragon! I'm not waiting to be killed by a dragon. Uh, I'm not bothered about a bow. So this guy just like sticking his bow through my chest. Oh, that was a complete failure of an attack. Nice, boys. Then we'll go ahead and we'll uh, get some heals. Do you like want to activate? Okay. That was a weird delay. I think now is probably the bit with the bear, isn't it? Are you supposed to sneak up on it or whatever? Which I never do. Unless I'm playing as a sneaky sort of build. Like an archer or whatever. I believe there's a coin purse at the end of here and a lantern. Yep. Oh, and a potion as well. Even better. See, I used to like the fact that in Morrowind you could pick those up and hold them in your hand as like a torch. So if you went into a dark cave, you could see better. I don't know why they removed that. 
mean, I guess you could get like illumination spells, but for just like if you were just an adventurer or it's sort of a generic class that didn't use magic, that was kind of a nice balance. Or is it the spiders first? Oh, it's the spiders. These freak me out a little bit, but just the noises is awful. Sound like pigs. I hope real life spiders don't sound like this. Like you can actually hear them. Cause that'd be weird. Excellent. It'd have been nice if they'd have added sort of like um, what the hell? If they'd have added like stormcloak heavy armor as well at the beginning of the game, vice versa, so I didn't have to wear imperial armor. Because, like I said, I want to side with the stormcloaks, but I don't want to have to wear light armor because I want to get like build my heavy armor up early on. So it's just a shame that they kind of forced you to, um, not forced you as such, but didn't didn't sort of think. Is there anything up here? I don't believe there is. I can get up. Uh, no. This is a bit with the bear. Hold up. There's a bear just there. There's a bear. I know. I'd rather not tango with her right now. Uh, yeah, we'll take some mead. Uh, iron helmet. I will take it. Probably not use it, but let's go and smash this bear. Dead. Killed it before it could even do anything. Uh, I'll take that because it's quite valuable. And I don't think there's much up here. No. So yeah, I, I just wish they'd have added um, Imperial light and heavy and some quick light and heavy in the tutorial area. I think it does exist in the main game, like the main game world. Um, but I can't remember. Is that the end of the tutorial? I thought I'd remember that being a little bit longer than it was. And welcome to the beautiful world of Skyrim. There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. Let's talk to him. Clear out of here. Let's talk to him. I think he's yeah. Tells you to go and see him, his sister. I'm sure she'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill and Okay, Rayla, thank you. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and pick our um, our star sign, which you do from these standing stones. Um, there is more than just these ones here. These are kind of your generic thief, warrior, and Mage, I'm gonna say wizard then. Mage ones, there's others like the lover and the steed and the tower and etc. etc. To name a few. Um, which is gonna be really interesting because what do we choose here? Because do we choose the one that gives us. Do we choose the. Let's have a look at the mage. We'll learn all magic skills 20% faster. Or do we go for the warrior? learn all combat skills. I feel as though th this is going to be the better one for us because we're a cleric, we're using primarily combat first and then we're using healing magic to heal ourselves after. So, so we'll head down into town, we will talk to Gerda, which is Raylof's sister, and then we will uh, end this part here, I believe. There's occasionally wolves along this road. But there isn't any at the moment. Just some elk or deer over there. 
my god for a six year old game is it not it's just such a pretty game even with the without the updated textures and high resolutions I mean like I said this is high resolution with updated textures and it looks amazing but you know I mean look at that it's just picturesque I remember when I first saw screenshots of Skyrim and footage I never thought a game could look this pretty like it just I don't know it just kind of set the standard and I still think that there's like fair few games that can match it alright good good no no Hildy isn't she around here thinking about it <clears throat> Yeah, she's over here. Let's have a talk to if her. I see you talking to Sven. Maybe not. Maybe never mind. But I would stay away from him if I were you. Okay, Fandal. New to Riverwood? If you're looking for work, go see Hod at the mill. Yes, I'm new. Raloff said you could Rayloff? help me out. Raloff, rather. Oh, you know him. Uh, he's a friend. We hmm. I feel as though being a cleric, I wouldn't lie, or I think I told you. You did. We heard that Ulfric was captured. No, sorry, but in times like these, I can't just take the word of a stranger who wanders into town claiming to be my brother's friend. A dragon in Helgen? It can't be. I mean, why would she? Although, it would explain what I saw earlier. Lying down the valley from the south. I mean, you could still really be anybody. I don't know why, but I actually believe you. You've got the look of someone who's just seen a dragon. Things How does someone look first. like they've just seen a dragon? The war, now dragons. What's this world coming to? The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Valgur of Moitra to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Yes, of course I will. But don't you have some supplies for me? Help any way I can. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. Help yourself to whatever you need within reason. In that case, we'll take it all. That ring of blocking is gonna come in handy. What I believe she gave us a key to her house. So all we'll go ahead and do is we'll go ahead and we'll put on the ring. That's gonna help us blocking with our um, our shield that we that we use. And I believe our house is this one over here. I believe she gave us a key. Oh, maybe she didn't give us a key. This is where Rayloff is. Or he comes here later on. And as you can see in here, we can pretty much take anything that we want. Um, which... We could take it all if we wanted to and sell it. But... You know, I kind of believe in leaving them at least some stuff. Uh, oh, that's cluster stealing. Hmm. Yes, all the gold isn't mixed. Oh, didn't want the basket, but whatever. We'll put the basket back. I didn't want to trip it. <laughs> I wanted to put it back. Uh, I think this is the one that we can use as the bed here. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we'll start swapping out for the iron. Instead. We don't want to be cooking yet. We can concentrate that on some of that later, maybe. Alright, so let's go and sell some stuff to the uh, shopkeep. And hopefully we can 
get some more wrong thing, some iron, so we can get out of this, out of these uh, imperial clothes. Iron helmet, iron boots. There we go. I mean, they look rougher. They're not as pretty, but. <clears throat> yes. Where's the shop? Is it this one now? It's this one, isn't it? And this is where he wants you to retrieve his golden claw. To do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Hello, Lucan. I Lucan. don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. That's okay. I just want to know what you've got for sale. I'll accept your quest later. Yes, we understand how to trade. Uh, my things. We'll sell you the Imperial Sword, all the arrows, the Iron War Axe, the Longbow. Uh, Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. We'll do it this way because the mouse is sometimes weird. We'll sell the foot wraps, the Iron. Uh, Imperial boots, that, keep that, sell the robes, that, that, keep that, um, see that does plus 15 armor, but that is 30 points of magic. Feels that we probably wouldn't drink, but we'll sell it. Uh, we'll learn that later on. Sell the amethyst and that. We'll keep the lock picks. Um, no, I don't want to exit. Let's have a look what he's got. Have you got any iron? Uh, yes, you do. You do have iron. Nothing that I want. Well, we'll have to stick with what we have for the time being. Damn thieves! As if things weren't. But it's okay. We can we can swap out what we're wearing over time. And um, yeah, with that, guys, that ends episode. In fact, no. Before we do that, before we end the episode, let's make sure he hasn't got any. Ain't every day we get visits. The finest Any iron that we armor. can. Oh, that is good. We want that at some point. Oh, he's got steel as well. They do some quests to get some um, get some gold and come back to him or do some jobs to earn some gold and come back to him so now with that we'll end this episode uh, did I sell my pants or is that just how they look I don't remember but yeah anyway so <laughs> we'll end that episode here um, next episode hopefully we'll ditch this armor uh, we'll get looking a little bit more generic um, and we will go and inform the Jarl of the recent dragon attack at Helgen and then we will do some side quests and some exploring and uh, yeah we'll build the character up a bit so thanks for watching this episode guys and be sure to check back for the next one I hope you enjoyed it be sure to like comment subscribe all that good stuff and thanks again see you in the next one